Hey everybody, welcome to uh, welcome back. Today we're going to do the Sumerian Beyond the Black River issue number two. Uh, it's been a while because I have reviewed issue number one uh, a long time ago, and I'm going to leave the link in the description. And uh, finally, I got issue two. Um, this is also the uh, end of this series. I mean, Beyond the Black River. Uh, yeah, so there's nothing more than that, but uh, I now have the complete quote-unquote collection, although it's only two. Um, maybe I've said this before, but I'm I'm a big, well, big, I'm a, I like the Sumerian. I mean, I like a Blazes version of Conan. Um, they follow mostly, or only, the already written stories from, I believe, the 70s from Robert E. Howard. And I'm fine with that because I'm... I read a lot of Marvel's Conan when I was younger, with Art of Sel Basima, and I love that series. But now that Marvel, I mean, has, uh, yeah, now that Marvel has acquired the rights again for Conan, I I don't know what they are doing with that with that character, man. But it it, it seems that they have no clue what to do with him. Um, just it's and, and and yeah i don't know it just it feels odd it's it, the stories are not really compelling to me what now that marvel has brought back quote unquote uh, conan so i'm glad a blaze picked up uh you know because uh, the rights well not so much the rights i mean it's an how do you say public domain character only they cannot use here on the front the sumerian although they still call him conan so yeah there's that um, so let's dive in. Enough talk. Uh, we see Conan here uh, with his buddy Baltus um, fleeing from, uh, you know, a, a group of, you know, inhabitants called the Picts. And the Picts has a sorcerer in their midst. They brought uh, the clan together because they want to overthrow and kill the settlers that are uh, on the land here. Um, and they've been followed by... Uh, Tigers, but then Conan does this. He is drawing something into the the uh, the sand, I guess, or the mud, and then um, he tells a story about what the sign is uh, to to Baltus because the tigers are not doing anything. He explains that it's some kind of a magic symbol, and that he learned that long ago from a dark wizard, um, and the dark wizard explains that. Um, the the meaning of that symbol, and it says it's sacred to Jebel Sag, who is actually the wizard that you know brought the Picts and other clans together. And um, he also explains that once upon a time, that was um, whoever has that power was worshipped by the living beasts and men, and they also spoke the same language. And he also says that. The wizard, not this one, but um, Zogar Zag, um, or Jebel Zag, and, and that's the name, um, is part of that group of people that can control these creatures. So um, the creatures back off, and Conan runs away towards the um, towards the settlement because they are, you know, uh, followed somewhat. So and they have an, uh, you know a, a moment of rest and. Uh, Baltus and Conan have a chat with each other about certain things, what happens here, but also says, <clears throat> you mentioned several far places. You travel widely? He said, farther than any man of my race. I have seen all the cities of the Hyborians, the Shemtes, the Stygians, and the Hycanians. I roamed into unknown countries. I've been a mercenary, a corsar, a Kozak, a vagabond, a general. I've seen everything. Except, I said, I've been everything except a king. And uh, Balta says, maybe someday. King, me? I read to die. There is no man less free than a king. <laughs> uh, yeah, bold words was because maybe for, you know, for the Conan fans, um, you know, that watches this video, uh, we know that he will one day become a king. So it's a little bit ironic. Um, so they are moving on. And then uh, they are um, approaching the Black River. And then uh, they see a group of people in the boat, picks. And then um, Balta says, well, just be quiet. But then somehow um, 
Conan can speak Pict or whatever that language is. And then we see the group of people, you know, rowing towards the shore. Uh, well, Conan and Baltus just, I don't know, waiting for them and then kill them brutally. Not sure why they did that. I mean, they could have just say nothing and then, you know, cross the river. Um, I also love the grizzled face here of Conan. Now, I must say the art looks very, looks gorgeous, by the way. And, and there is one shot after this that, uh, you know, show how good the art is. Um, but I also want to say that this Conan feels different than the Conan that we are used to be. I mean, um, used to. I mean, Conan is, um, this Conan is more civilized, quote unquote. He is donning certain armor. He uses tactics. He also um, retreats a lot, which is very odd because, well, the Conan that I know just... When he is in danger, he just storms in and kicks ass. Uh, also, although Conan has knows when he is outnumbered, then he's gonna flee or do do a tactical retreat. But this is more. This Conan is more calculated, smarter, um, maybe older and grizzled. Not entirely sure, but it, this Conan feels different. Off. Well, not off, but different. And I'm not really used to this Conan. That's not really a bad thing, but for me, it doesn't feel like a Conan, if you know what I mean. Okay, moving on. So they are, um, you know, going over the Black River and they are reaching the settlement. Well, not the settlement, more the fort with the soldiers that protects the settlement. And uh, now look at this. Doesn't it, this look gorgeous? I mean, this could easily be a splash page or even a double splash page. I mean, uh, you know, I talk about backgrounds a lot and why I think that's important or why it's important. Well, this is it. This is the perfect uh, example why backgrounds in comics are important. I mean, we see here's all these, these you know, leaves and, and dark and mist and, and all these little things. It is because of immersion and, you know, a lot of other stuff. Instead of, you know, doing these flashing Photoshop backgrounds with nothing in it and just people on the foreground. Um, this is great stuff. I mean, I, I looked at this this page many, many times and just absorbs what's all happening. So the pics basically uh, came together and stormed the, uh, the fort and... Um, but uh, Baltus wants to uh, join in and, and help uh, the the people of, of from the fort. And Conan says, nah, that's not what we're going to do. They are outnumbered. Um, Conan says, um, the Picts will eventually enter and it will be a massacre. Uh, there are too many of them. They are more motivated than ever. No wall can hold them back. Believe my experience. And then we see, and I want to urge you to, you know, read my um, first issue of Conan, uh, I mean the Sumerian, <laughs> beyond the Black River, because there is also lots of flashbacks to um, Samaria, because there was a group of soldiers, um, I forget the name, I believe Huntsman or something like that, that wants to overthrow Samaria, and then Samaria fought back because they are, were the original inhabitants uh, of, uh, of that time. And the Sumerians just massacred everyone that, you know, uh, tried to take their land, basically. Uh, I like that. And, there's a, and I want to explain a little bit more later. Um, uh, Kona says, there's nothing we can do but save our own hides. And then he, they hear a bark and there's the dog from one of the settlers. So Conan decides, along with Baltus, that they are uh, try to save the settlers. Uh, so they are running towards the settlers and there's a group of pigs there and they are just, while running, kill them instantly and it just looks great. So they split up. Um, um, Conan uh, goes um, somewhere else and, and Baltus goes to the farms and uh, they need to go to uh, Velitrium. That's a city uh, where they will be safe. So um, Baltus comes to the, to the settlers and there is a, an... You know, he, he knocks on the door of the, one of the settlers and they are said, hey, where's my husband? And uh, I cannot cannot see them. I mean, 
Well, and, and Baltus explains that Conan is with them. And as an old woman says, if the Sumerian with our husbands, they will be safe. We, do, um, we need to leave. But also the woman uh, asks about a young couple. And uh, the couple is, is here. They are strolling, uh, going towards the fort, but they are being massacred. So she asks about them, where they are. And, and Baltus says... They are no longer of this world, but neither are the murderers. May they be cursed. The old woman is also angry um, about the whole situation, not about the pigs, or, but they are being forced uh, to go to other lands to settle there. But she also says that we are just more one more piece of the map for the lords of our colonia, and we lose everything again because they won't defend us. And that's true, because in the first uh, issue, it's been explained that the lords of our colonia wants to, you know, send their people to different civilizations and, and lands to, you know, settle there for, I don't know, riches or, you know, from the land and different uh, and other different reasons. But they don't send reinforcements or send help or food. They just, here's a boat, here's some soldiers, build a settlement, live your life and stuff um, so she curses them meanwhile uh, he hears uh, sounds and Baltus decides to stay behind and says you go to uh, to the boats and uh, go to uh, the, the city and he says uh, I will join you later the old woman says no you won't join us but thank you may the gods be with you so that's a uh, that's a sign that things are going bad, probably for him. So he stays behind. Picks are coming because they are relentless and they are never giving up. Um, they will eventually catch up to the old people because they are, you know, riding with uh, on foot or uh, overloaded horses and they are old and there's children with them. The picks, they are moving fast and they would eventually catch up. So Baltus decides to defend them and, you know, try to kill them all with the dog. I love that part. It shows that this guy, who is just just a guy, uh, is as heroic as Conan. And I love that, um, that there is other people just as heroic as the main hero, instead of, you know, being sheep that, you know, goes to the slaughter. Um, very cool. Moving on to Conan. Um, Conan meets up with other settlers and um, he takes them with them. Uh, with him, I mean, uh, so they are, um, says, well, we need to cross the Black River again, but then, uh, well, if we're going to do that, we are dead, so we need to cut through the forest. And, um, but also, at the same time, he a little bit curses them, because they made a lot of noise, and Conan goes back again to the time that Sumerians has dominated the, well, the parts of that, of a certain land at the time, and um, so basically he compares the Sumerians and himself too, because he's a Sumerian, to the Picts. You know, took no nonsense. Every invader comes to us. They will take it back with deadly force and a lot of massacring. I love the fact that we show Sumerians here because I'm not, you know, let's say when we talk about Sumerians, we always think about Conan, but we don't see much of his people at all in comics and maybe there are because i don't read every conan book but uh yeah that's a nice nod that there is some you know we see some glimpses about sumerian civilization if you can call it that but um then conan hears the voice of baltus and then he stops and he says you two go ahead uh i will join you later and then he hears uh see some green lights and then we see I don't know, an apparition waiting for him. And he says, I'm here for my friend. Where is he? And uh, But the demon tricked him and he says, I use this voice to lure you in. Um, because, well, uh, basically he says he wants to kill him for reasons. Um, he, uh, Conan also explains that um, in, in issue one, um, check that out. <laughs> um, he says, you had your chance before, uh, but then you do it. And, uh, then, but you didn't kill me so why now well the demon explains that um 
it was not his time yet. And there's a reason for that. Um, then he explains that when he draw the circle uh, of Jebel Sack, uh, he was doomed because only he is allowed to do that. So basically his, uh, his time is up. Conan prepares for battle and he says, um, I want to see your true form. And uh, you can, you know, honor me that, honor me with that. So the, the demon does that. And then we see very cool looking demon. And he has also the face of his brother. And he says, Zogar Zag, child of Jebel Zag. With my own blood, he gave me flesh. Conan smiles and he attacks him. So there's a fight. And uh, looks great. Um, but Conan also knows when, um, well, basically, the, this monster uses the fear to kill innocent people. Conan knows when somebody materializes into flesh, it can kill uh, with iron steel. And that's exactly what he's doing. Uh, he splits him, uh, kills him. But then something odd happens. Um, Zogar Zak, I believe that's his name, doesn't utter a word. He doesn't scream. He doesn't yell. He doesn't curse. He just dissolves. And then we see a scream. And Conan turns around. And the scream continues. And then we see the pigs, you know, catching up with the settlers, killing them or, you know, try to kill them. We see some flames and fire. Conan smiles. And then we go to Valitrium. Gorgeous. Looks gorgeous. So I believe one of the settlers that he rescued is there with him. And um, he says um, that, well, as you can see here, the wizard was dancing among the slain. But then he staggered and began to reel, screaming as I never heard a man or beast scream before. He lived by magic and he died by magic. So basically he's saying that we don't see how it ends, but just by telling us with, and showing us pictures, how it all ends, because that's it. They, they go to um, Valitrium, and people are safe. Um, and um, so this man says, it was the mystery, the mystery of its death that took the heart out of the pits. It saved the city, even the colony, and the, and the fort were lost. And when he came back, or just, you know, flee, because he was one of the, uh, one of the few survivors, we see what happened. We see the pigs, we see um, the soldiers, we see settlers dead. But he also saw Baltus with his dog um, dead and a heap of dead pigs. What a fight that must have been, he says. Conan smiles, he says, he was a man. I drink to his shade and to that of the dog who never knew fear. He also says, do you imagine they will try to rebuild the fort? So this man says, no, um, that's too late. Kono Johara, which I believe is the settlement name or the fort's name, is lost to the kingdom. And he says, barbarism is the natural state of mankind. Civilization is unnatural. The, tick, the pigs took back what was theirs. The frontiers has been pushed back. And then we see Conan. I believe this is Conan. We don't see his face, but we see his swords. And we see this young boy in the flames of, I believe, Samaria. Barbarism will ultimately always triumph. And that's the end. And we see the story uh, of Beyond the Black River from 1935 Jesus Christ um, so you can read it if you are a, a book fan there's a lot of it and then we see the covers and then we see uh, volume 3 I have this one it's also great so yeah is it good? Uh, yeah but I also have some criticism the criticism that I have is um, how do I say it I don't think it's bad I think the art looks phenomenal um I also love the colors. I also love the pacing, but I wish we have a, a number three to see, you know, the death or maybe a big battle between Conan and the wizard. And we see also the aftermath of Baltus giving his life for the settlers. 
you know, fleshing the story a little bit more out instead of two pages of explaining, hey, uh, we won, by the way, and this is what happens. Also, um, the fight between him and the demon, um, like I said, looks cool, but it's just two pages of action. And that's it. So this big, bad, evil guy just been killed in, well, two pages. Um, that's a shame. Um, so, yeah, I wish it was longer. But, yeah, overall, I liked it. But, yeah, that's that's the criticism I have. Overall, and oh, yeah, by the way, I'm not a really big fan of this version of Conan. It doesn't, you know, feel like Conan. It doesn't look like Conan. Um, he is way too civilized, if you if you know what I mean. But I also like the fact that he uses tactics and different strategies to overcome certain odds. And he's still the barbarian, but different, if you know what I mean. Um, yeah, guys, that's it. That's my uh, review of the Samir and Beyond the Black River issue number two. Um, please let me know what you think in the comments. Give me a like, share the video if you want. Uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.